It may be candy coated, but believe me, it is dangerous. We are here at the Eminem Super Speedway in Boston, Mass, for today's Smoke Production Series race, round 12 in the championship. Bobby Sweats is going to start on the pole today, and let's uh, get a look here at your uh, starting lineup. All right, let's get to none. And find yourself here. Just waiting to get the command to get going, and here we go. Now find yourself here. And we just got a lot of different cameras on these guys, and whoa, they're getting separated. Try and get back to the front row with uh, Jonathan Feld and Bobby Sweats. Sweats, we definitely have not said much about him this season. And he would like his name to be known here at M&M's. One of the coolest and most unique super speedways on the track. I mean, on the circuit. Anyways, the green flag is out. And here we go. We are underway at M&M's. Now this is a definitely a tough super speedway. Got lots of beat and bang and accent action. But Jonathan Fell looks like he's trying to get a jump on the outside. Doing a great job of staying on oh, I stand corrected. I was about to say he was doing a great job of staying right beside Sweats in the 85. But here comes Jeffrey Stanton in the number 61. And he got Andrew Schwartz in the number 24. With Paul Fodd. One of the best super speedway racers in this series. And here comes Andrew Schwartz. Remember the great run he had at Zen Joltis. Actually, I've heard this is the exact same car they brought to Zen Joltis, even But they brought a brand new engine. Brand, the same chassis and engine, but... I mean, uh, same chassis and body, but a different engine. This is a brand new super speedway engine in that number 24. And there's Zach Miller. He's looking to try and get a squeeze right by Andrew Schwartz. And there's Corey Long. He's been quietly consistent this season. Currently sitting 8th in the points. And um, Tyler Speed, John Dillon, Matt Wickham, and Stephen Ellis. Just uh, making some quick observations. See so who's back here. And Andrew Schwartz doing a great job hanging on to the lead. And the Tim Hortons colors, he's always said, this paint scheme brings him bad luck. He wants it to end soon. Right behind them, Zach Miller and John Dillon, a couple of shake and bake racing drivers. And right back there is your defending winner, Cody Erdman. Erdman is no longer a rookie. He won this as a part-time rookie. He is no longer a rookie. He's got a brand new sponsor since he uh, uh, now has Royal Purple on the car. And Zach Miller is still trying to get that edge on Andrew Schwartz. And look at this, Dakota Lowe in the number 84. I am just surprised at how well this 84 has been able to do so far this season. Well, they've had a couple of good runs, a couple of bad ones. But I wouldn't be surprised if they not just sponsor soon. And there's Tristan Stern up to the lead. A couple of guys down there like Nathaniel Walker trying to get some room. And there's Dakota Lowe. Here comes the unsponsored 84 to the lead. And there's Nathaniel Walker all the way down there too. Lots of different guys who need a good run. There's Kenny Murray back there. He needs a good run. He's all the way back in the 30s in the points. I believe it's 34th, I think. I don't know, but Kenny has just had a disappointing season so far. He needs a good run, and he needs it now. Oh, we got a crash in the back! Let's see who that is. I don't know who that is. And Jared Wilson is on pit road. Not where you want to be. Nathaniel Walker in the lead, and no caution. No caution, but what happened to Jared Wilson? 
We're going to take a look at that real quick. All right, here's what has happened to Jared Wilson. He was wanting four wide right here next to Brendan McDowell, and he just gets turned right here. Tyler Speedy gets a piece of it. And then, oh, give him a little air after that hit. And uh, he spins on the pit road, and he nudges the ball right there. Welcome back. And Nathaniel Walker has since taken the lead, and he's still out front. Look at Dakota Lowe right here in the 84, the unsponsored 84. We had a couple of guys who need a good run. Oh, we got a crash! It's the second place in points, Stefan Papiez! And a bunch of other guys. Big pile up back here. Oh, boy. What happened? John Dillon with a lot of damage. Who was that? I didn't get a look at who that was, but... Sean Galligan with a blown engine. And I saw Stefan Papiez get massive air. We gotta see what happened. Alright, we're gonna have to take this slowly. Um, I saw a bunch of different things going on at once here. Here's Troy Cat. Oh, maybe not. Troy Castle... Getting spun up into these guys. John Dillon, William Espy. You can see Stefan Papio's guy getting some big air. This was just a massive pile up. Jeff Jeffrey Stanton, Ben Stern, Jake Cole, Tyler Speed, and Peter Garcia getting around it. Um, let's see. I saw Mark Riggleman, Brendan McDowell, Mason Elliott in there. And the caution will come out this time. There's Brendan McDowell. Something's happening to him, though. Maybe not. But uh, I saw a bunch of these guys here. And, um... Looks like our defending champion, Sean Galgan, his, his disappointing season will continue. We are under caution for the first time today, and we will be right back. Welcome back to the M&M Super Speedway, everybody. We're in our final caution lap. And Nathaniel Walker, this kid is just about to lose his ride. Um, Riggleman Racing might not look into keeping Nathaniel, so maybe the win here would help him. His first one, his first career win at that, just hasn't been able to wrap up a win in Smoke Production Series. But Riggleman Racing has decided to keep him this whole time. Nathaniel has been here since the beginning. And Dakota Lowe, what a great run for the unsponsored ride. And here we go. Green flag is back out once again. And low. And look at Stephen Ellis right here. He's your Indianapolis winner. And he's looking to get himself another win here today. He's got to get around Dakota Low if he wants to do that. And there's Matt Wickleman. He's fourth in points. Would like to propel himself higher with a win here today. Got a bunch of different guys back here. Josh Fonseca. Tristan Stern, Justin Barra, our Talladega winner. He's your most recent winner. And Stephen Ellis has found his way up to second. Matt Wickleman right behind him, his teammate. Matt Wickleman's trying to hold off Sam Limbaugh, but it probably won't happen. Tristan Stern also looking for some room down here. Oh, Wickleman able to hold off the charge from Limbaugh. And there's Stephen Ellis right on the back bumper. Nathaniel Walker. And now he may have a run. Trying to get a run on him. He may have some drafting help from his teammate, Wickleman. And there's Wickleman right there. But now he's got Dakota Lowe right behind him. And now Wickleman trying to stay with Nathaniel Walker. And Walker able to clear Stephen Ellis. There's Dakota Lowe. Getting some help from Sam Limbaugh. Look at all these guys back here. And there's Limbaugh looking for some room on Dakota Lowe. Got a bunch of guys behind him. Lowe back up to second. A bunch of guys back here trying to catch up to him. There's Tristan Stern. And there's Lowe. Nathaniel Walker, as I said, still looking for that elusive, oh so elusive, first win. Dakota Lowe would like to wrap up one too. He doesn't even have a sponsor. A win here may help him wrap up one. Oh, here we go. Here's Lowe. 
Gotta get him in this turn. No one has been able to clear Nathaniel Walker ever since he took the lead. There's Tristan Stern, a bunch of guys going for the lead. Oh, there's Ben Stern. He's got a wrecked up front end. And there's Tristan for the lead. Tristan has had quite the disappointing season so far. There's Kenny Hansen. You know, this track is not full of fond memories for Hansen. He shattered his left arm in a crash here. And now he has a titanium implanted bone. And there's Josh Fonseca, Bobby Sweats, the pole sitter, Aaron Aldridge, Austin Hopper. Ever since Austin Hopper won his first race, we definitely have not said much about him. But just hasn't had a consistency that you'd like to have. We're going to take one last break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. We're nearing the final laps of this race. Tristan Stern in the lead. Man, how much he would like to wrap up a win. His first win of the season after winning Rookie of the Season last season. <laughs> Said the season a lot there. And uh, Josh Fonseca, he hasn't been able to wrap up a win. He would love to. After it was just announced, he will be returning to Papias Motorsports next season. Here we go. He's got a run on Tristan Stern. Peter Garcia, Corey Long, and a bunch of back guys back there would love to get up there and try to challenge Fonseca and, and Stern for the lead. Here comes Fonseca, still side by side, going into turn three. All right, sorry about that. Back to the action. Josh Fonseca has gotten around Tristan Stern. Here comes Peter Garcia. Man, how oh, he would like to wrap up a win. He's been improving lately. White flag is out. And there's Steven Ellis. Oh, let me tell you, one of these guys is going to come out of nowhere to take this win. There's Dakota Lowe. He might get up there. But there's Steven Ellis. There's Dakota Lowe looking for some room right here. This car doesn't even have a sponsor. A win here would help him do that. Here's Sam Limbaugh. Kevin Hensley right there. Oh, man, it's going to be an exciting battle. Here's Kevin Hensley all the way down on the bottom. Nathaniel Walker, Justin Barra. There's Walker trying to get some room on Hensley. There's Nathaniel Walker out of nowhere. He lost the, le he lost the lead a couple of laps ago. And Nathaniel Walker is going to come out of nowhere to win it at M&M's. Oh my goodness, what a win for Nathaniel Walker. He lost the lead a couple of laps ago, only to regain it from Kevin Hensley, stealing his first career SPS win and the first of the season for Nissan. What a great job from Nathaniel Walker. Let's get the rest of your results. Here's your results, everybody. Congrats to Nathaniel Walker. Been ever so consistent. Finally getting himself a win. That was close for Hensley, but couldn't get it done. Thank you for watching, everybody, and we'll see you later.